Good morning. I'm now in Kuala Lumpur. Today is day one. I woke up decently early, although I arrived very late. Um, I arrived in the um, um, hotel around 2 a.m. I think or 1.30. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it was like before 1 a.m. And I checked in, check-in was breezy, but I thought I'd show you with where I'm staying at the moment. I'm staying in Ceylon suits, which is really, really convenient because by the looks of it, there's a lot of like places that I can go. Um, so, this is basically like an apartment style, so I'll show you guys what I mean. Do you walk in, there's basically like it's an apartment style so it has a fridge it has a kitchen table um, a kettle lots of pots that you can use some utensils and yeah that's the first bath really big bathroom Japan could never <laughs> but yeah with the bathroom. Oh, and also with the bathroom, it's a rainfall type. Rainfall? Is that what they call it? The good thing about it is that I can connect my Netflix. So I'm watching Perfect Match. Um, two beds. The one that I booked is the one with the twin bed, but I basically have two beds. I'm thinking this is my sleeping bed and this is my relaxing bed whenever I just want to chill with my outside clothes. Very nice vanity. Hi! And this is the skyscraper of the place. I know that there's a part in the hotel that can see the Kuala Lumpur Tower and the um, Petronas, but I didn't end up with that room, but it's okay. This is still pretty nice. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure I've seen this during my research. So this rainforest look, looking place. Right now, I'm just gonna make my way to um, Times Square, I believe. Berjaya? I forget the place, but I booked a day tour which will take me around a half day only which will take me around um, Kuala Lumpur just so that it's a little bit easier for me to go around and then tonight I'm gonna do the um, the hop on and hop, hop on and off KL city lights in the evening so hopefully it's not raining hopefully it's beautiful weather tonight and it's yeah with me because it says it's gonna rain I just bought my trusty lululemon bag and this um, umbrella from Uniqlo uh, and yeah let's go around KL I'm excited bye also considered as the next location it will be the main area monument national monument of malaysia monument is why because kuala lumpur was involved into the tin mining industry tin mining is similar but metal not gold but metal so kuala lumpur was having one of the biggest europe market after the ice crash in metals tin aluminium pewter they come down to malaysia that is the reason why all right, the late 1800s when they start doing digging, they found out that Malaysia is actually the second largest after you. So we went to the we're here in the National Museum. There's not a lot because basically what you need to do is to go inside. But obviously we don't have time to do that. Um, so I'm just checking out the new 
palace, or the old palace, he said. Oh, this is nice. Just taking my time, strolling around. You know what I noticed about here? It's so clean. Kuala Lumpur is so clean. I mean, I haven't seen any specks of litter around. They take good care of their surroundings, I guess. We are in the Nashville Palace. This is where the king lives. The royal guards. That one has a horse. We are in the chocolate factory. Free taste, they said. Made it to the Petronas Tower. National Monument. I survived my first train ride. But my MRT pass as well. So let's see how it is. There's some fruit stall. Some like massive ass uh, mascots around. This one is a rabbit. Rabbit. That one is a panda. Okay, I'm doing this hop on hop on um, KL City Lights bus tour. To be honest, my personal opinion. Their system is a little bit confusing, like everyone was lined up there from where. They don't tell us that you have to wait for your bus and look at the bus number. Um, basically, like I was lined up there. They don't have a system, like the people the people that did the, um, the ticketing didn't mention anything about it, so I think it would be good to have that. And, um, yeah, hopefully it's a good tour though hopefully it makes up to those confusion because yeah everyone's a bit confused on where to go
here earlier it definitely looks different in the evening the whole palace is now lit up I'll show you what I mean see it's all lit up earlier it wasn't like this so definitely looks very different Thank you. 